Greg, thanks for joining us today. Tell me why you enjoy reporting from Rome and, and covering Italy and, and the Vatican. Well, I think uh, it's pretty simple. You know, there are probably a few better jobs in television news, but not a lot of them. Uh, the main oh, thing is you're living yeah. in Rome, and then the rest is what it is. Italy's always going to produce a number of stories, a lot of features. You have the Vatican here for some serious stories. And then uh, all of us in Europe are basically ready to, ready to go and cover Europe. So uh, if you're going to do that, this is uh, one of the better places to be based. And you have an actual uh, newsroom space, a bureau space. We do have a bureau here. We uh, got an office when I was hired just as um, around 9-11, uh, actually just after 9-11. We got an office shortly after that, uh, and we kept it. We brought in a lot of people, obviously, when the Pope was sick, and we the papal transition, but it was a good deal. And it had parking, which is really hard to come by in Rome, so uh, we have kept the office. We have... Uh, basically a basement office and then also a rooftop. The rooftop's good because you can see both the Vatican uh, and Rome and we can work with the sun depending on the story which way which way we point the camera. Now obviously this is a city known for its food but certainly there must be American food you miss or other American cultural things that you miss. Well, uh, I bought myself a Weber grill so I can make my own burgers and steaks, that kind of thing, which you don't always find here. I don't think you can find a good burger in Rome actually. Uh, and if we're staying on the food thing, of course, obviously, you have, you know, I tell people I, I have more good meals in a week than you're going to have all year back home, but that's a little bit my snotty side. I do miss one thing, and that's a good Mexican restaurant. Well, Greg, thank you again for joining us today.